Today I'm doing drum rotors. That's right, it's a rotor. It's a brake drum. It'll all make sense in a moment. Just watch that video. Also, is it the first time you're seeing me? Hey, uh, click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if this is helpful. And if you don't wanna miss another video, hit the bell icon, you'll get notified every time I post a video. Also, as always, I usually recommend that you watch this video all the way through before you attempt this job. That way you know what tools to use and sockets and what you're gonna need to buy. They're actually uh, uh, clarified under rotors, but link in the description. Uh, again, I'm not a salesman. I'm not trying to sell you parts, you know, Amazon. I have Amazon links in the description. You can buy these at O'Reilly, AutoZone, a lot of your major auto retailers. Just makes it a little easier um, for buying parts when it's a it, link in the description, right? So yeah, there's a little keyway. Keyway right here, see that? Pop this out. Ooh, it's got a stick up. It's got a spider's nest right there, look at that. Again, this thing's been sitting for a while. What to make this job that much easier. <laughs> Got the jack stands, car jacked up, and this little screw here can be a challenge. So first of all, you have to get the right, where are we? Yeah. You gotta get the right screwdriver bit. That's gonna fit in the hole there, all right? Using that handle here. And you get that loose like that because these can get sticky and that's the first thing you want to get out make sure that this thing comes out there it is all right so get the wheel off next step in this process removing these two 14 millimeter bolts in the back They're not too tight, it shouldn't be. And then the bottom bolts on the bottom this side. All right, now that those two bolts are removed, it's time to loosen this puppy up. Again, tip for you, do one side at a time. So once you get them apart and you feel like, oh, how do these go back together? You have the other side for reference. I mean, YouTube videos are good for that too, but that's just something I've done over the years, one side at a time. That way you kind of, you kind of know. All right, so I had to kind of knock it loose a little bit. It was rusted on there almost, even with the bolts undone. This thing comes out first. Hopefully this caliper isn't bad but I think it just got bound up because somebody didn't put the hardware in there. So, yeah, because that's, this didn't come with hardware for whatever reason. I had hardware on this side, no hardware on this side. I think it was just binding up because it never changed the brake glass. Brake glass didn't include the hardware or it somehow fell out. I don't see how that could have happened. I think someone was lazy or didn't do the brake job right, honestly. Brake hardware, uh, rotor, all this stuff. You can use C-clamps. I've been using these for years to push the piston in on the brake caliper. And especially with this, it's just, look at that, right? Like, it's a pain to try and <laughs> get a C-clamp on here and even this thing out. So what I recommend, again, I'll have a link in the description. You buy these at Harbor Freight, a lot cheaper. You might need to hook a vice grip to this end just because they didn't give you much much of a, a spinner thing there, much to grab onto. But uh, this is a lot easier than a C-clamp, all right? This was like, I don't know, 15 or 12 bucks at Harbor Freight. But again, if you don't have a Harbor Freight near you, link in the description if you want to. It's just way, this will save a lot of swear words and st stress hormones, right? Cortisol, whatever. Knock some of the 
gunk off of there. But yeah, again, these are good. I mean, I don't know if you've, I've never seen somebody replace these. Everybody talks about it, but there's no video on somebody actually doing the drum part of this job. It looks pretty normal drum job on the inside here. It may be hard to get at these pins with a, you know, but again, it's just for an e-brake, so you're not using it a lot. This car's got 200,000 miles on it, and these barely look used, so it's not like they're going to wear out. Yeah, so look at that. It's like it's about halfway, I think. This is the uh, other side compared to this side. And then here's the new one. So it went about halfway down before it bound up. Thanks to someone not doing the brake job right, I think. Hey, this is cool. Apparently, brake cleaner eats styrofoam. Who knew? So yeah, right in here. I sprayed that down too, look at that. Maybe not. New clip. Pump it out like that. All right, brake hardware. Like that. Just pops right in there. Nice. Repeat on the other side. Nice thing about Korea is they put these together. These are pretty cool. Instead of doing one on each side, it reaches all the way across. Look at that. Slide glide brake lubricant. That's that's always good. Alright, so put this thing on, make sure it lines up with the hole. Boom. So now, can you see that? Right? Lighting is a little iPhone 8. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully the lighting's good. That puppy in there. Again, this tool in here. Oops. And uh, compress it down. Easy peasy. A lot better than trying to finagle a C clamp on there. All right, so now you want to lubricate these. I'm going to put the shoes in them. Get a nice goop on there. Good to have too much and not enough. And then, as you can see, uh, I've already started the process of putting in the, uh, the brassy 14 millimeter bolts that hold the bottom part of the caliper on yeah the sun's right behind me man sunshine in the seattle area it's always a good thing cinching these down And the top one gets cinched down. I don't want to put too much torque on them. Foot pound or two. Yep. Clip here goes on the inside. Sort of line it up. I like to put it in the goop and try and line these straight up in there. A little on that side side all right this can take some finagling but you can do it these can take some finagling here I like to put this end in first on the end there apply some pressure and then sometimes a screwdriver can help hold this down oh, like that so yeah these little guides on the end here help Boom, got one on. Other side, find my brake, there it is. I 
again and kind of scoop it around in the, the goo there. Use your clean screwdriver maybe. That can help. Move your lubricant around. And show you a different angle. Alright, I took a glove off. But yeah, you got these little handy tracks. And it just it's pretty sweet the way they built these. Actually, if I can line it up right. Bottom end first. And then the top end. And there's just a little track right there to pop it in, man. Yeah, it's hung up a little bit there, but I'll figure it out. And yep, just a little bit of muscle. A little bit of muscle and it pops right in there. Gonna lubricating, I like to make sure these are properly lubricated and they feel good. And these are nice, I'm not gonna mess with that. But if they feel stiff or shaky, I would lubricate those too. And next we uh, slide the brake caliper over and screw it down. 14 millimeter, yeah. You get the idea. And the other one. Line it up. Like that. Boom. And tightening it down. Get about a couple of foot pounds or so. Check your specs. Again, I've been doing this a long time. You can feel it. You don't want to crank it on there too tight. You just you just kind of feel it. That's nice and on there, man. Boom. And there we go. Ready to put the wheel back on. Oh, there goes Vicky. Don't forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? Stick around.